looks insane. What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. So I think we're gonna be working on the Corvette. I'm not 100% sure today. We might have to go work on my sister's car a little bit. But if we do work on the Corvette, we're going to be installing the front fenders, the wide body, and then we may get to the rear. I'm not quite sure how long the front is gonna take, trying to get everything aligned properly and stuff. But we're gonna do that. Hopefully uh, fills the wheel gap. It's supposed to be like an inch and a half to two inches wider, so it should fit like perfect. But wow, it's freezing out. It was like 80 the other day again, and then it's cold again. And then we might get to the interior a little bit, I have Apple CarPlay that I need to install, so I don't know when we'll get to that, but for now, we're gonna head to the shop because I need to grab some parts and I need to sell some wheels on the 370, so we gotta get it on jack stands. And I'm taking the speed. I gotta move that car first. Forgot I undid the battery on this thing. So this will be interesting because when it's cold out, the fuse usually blows, but when it's warm out, it doesn't. So well, we're gonna see if it blows or not. <sighs> yep, should be good. We're good. All right, we're going to take fuses just in case. Here we go, not even one minute into the drive, it just blew the fuse. Didn't even get down my road. So I'm gonna go ahead and swing her back around, take her back to my house, because now it's running like crap. Gotta love the speed. I'm gonna order some spark plugs and do some plugs. Maybe that'll help, but I just don't know what the issue is. It's definitely something electrical, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the plugs anyway, because it ran rich for a while, and those plugs cannot be looking pretty. But we're gonna take a different car to the shop and grab the parts I need today. Baby, come back. Don't blame it all on me. You're that lazy. So there's a little bit of a change of plans. Um, I found out I'm going drifting next week. So I'm gonna get this car completely ready. Um, I would like to take the Corvette, but I don't wanna rush that build. I'm trying to actually, you know, make it perfect, even though it's gonna get drifted. But this car is pretty much ready. I just need to put the radiator in. So I'm gonna work on doing that today. We'll get the old one out, all the fluid drained. And then there's a few things under the car I wanna look at. Need to get the wheels done this week, put on, lowered. I'm gonna do an eyeball alignment. There's a ton of toe in on this side, little bit on this side. So I'm gonna toe in this side a little more, toe out that side a little more, and then we should be good to go. So yeah, um, Z day. Z's gonna be going drifting soon, so hope everyone's stoked. Inside's all good, so yeah. Let's get started. One off. This is literally still a brand new tire. Brand new. So I gotta do the other one off and then we'll toss the weds on and I might actually lower it today. Kinda of forgot to pick up the camera, but um, Anthony took the wheels for his rental 350. If anyone wants to rent a 350Z and go drifting with us, hit me up on Instagram and uh, I'll connect you with Anthony and then maybe we can arrange something. But yeah, this thing looks whack right now. So yeah, obviously there's no tires on the rear. The front is off. So we're gonna take two rears, two fronts, go get the brand new wheels mounted. And then we're putting them on today and we're lowering the rear, getting ride height set, everything adjusted properly, and we'll be good to go. Look at that, they're already picking up stuff off the floor. Bye. Have a nice flight. By the way, here's all the Corvette panels that I was going to install today, but got a little sidetracked. I was able to get the car loaded, super tight fit. Now we just gotta go pick up the wheels. Can't wait for you guys to see them. Parts room right here, and here we go. So, dogs are barking, sorry. So as you guys can tell, they are rays, but they're not just any rays. They are gram lights, which means they're super light, and they look like this. Okay, it's really hard to tell, but I got the blue ones, and I think these are the rears, but the concave's insane. There you go, look at that color. These things are absolutely nuts, so hopefully this looks pretty decent with the purple. I'm not quite sure, but gotta get all this loaded up, and then gotta get some stuff for the fans loaded up, and then, then we'll take these to get mounted, put them on, slam the rear. You guys can feel how light these are, like even in the box, they weigh nothing. 
It is going to be a tight one. I'm going to ride with one wheel in my lap. So got some rays in my lap. Should be pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's a fun ride. Hopefully this airbag doesn't go off. Just got the tires dropped off. I'm going to go get some food and then hopefully they'll be done and we can get them on. I'm going to go ahead and go grab the other radiator and I'm, I'm going to remove the AC condenser off the other one just because I feel like it's going to get a lot more flow. So we're going to go do that real quick. Look at that brand new CSF radiator. These things are triple pass, so they're super, super good. So this is the same exact radiator as that one, except this one shouldn't have a hole in it, shouldn't. If it has a hole in it, I'm gonna be very upset. Oh, look at how good this one looks. Look at how bad that one looks. Brand new, old. Thing looks good. The funny thing is, is I could hook it. This thing still has an AC condenser. I could easily hook AC up to this and still have AC. Frickin' trains. Oh, I hate them. Boom, nice and fresh. Got a 10 mil, I'm gonna pop off all this stuff for this condenser, pull that off. And that should really help with airflow a lot because this thing is actually a pretty thick AC condenser. I just got this thing off and I can kind of see why I was having overheating issues. Like even though there was a hole in it, like look at how thick this thing is. So my little baby Mishimoto fans were trying to pull through that and that, which obviously those fans weren't very good, but there's no way they could have pulled through that and that. I think that's why it got really hot really quick. So, so that really should open it up along with the new fans. I'll unbox those here in a second. But first, the wheels are ready, so we're gonna go pick those up right now. So we just picked up the wheels and they look insane. I'm gonna pull them out real quick and you guys can see what they look like, but look at that. Holy cow, this color. Ooh, I haven't seen this color in the sunlight. Oh man, those look insane. Shout out to Shawnee Auto for mounting these things. They always do a great job mounting my wheels and tires. They always do them perfect. So yeah, that looks incredible. Gonna get all these out and then we'll put them on the car. It always takes me so long to find the rotation mark on the tire. This one goes this way. Okay, we're off to a bad start, but man, they look nuts. I am gonna have to run a spacer up front as well, but I do not have to run a spacer in the rear to my knowledge. I hope not anyway. I need to put the front on jack stands, grab the rears, put the rears on, and then do the fronts. Pain. These look so fire. And this is without a spacer. I've had to run a spacer ever since I bought this car, but the offset on these are perfect. I can slam this thing and it's gonna tuck up in here perfectly. So, mm, it looks so good. So good. Rays, Graham lights, first set of Rays, first set of Graham lights. Actually, second set of Rays. Corvette was the first set, this is the second set. So yeah, these are gonna fit great. And then this one inch spacer will go up front. And we're gonna have a lot of poke. We're gonna have that Ryan Turk poke. That's alright, that Ryan Turk poke's sick. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bust out the brake clean, spray all this, and then we will lower it. Messy. You ain't ripping till she dripping. Okay, so after about an hour of messing with this thing, I found out that the uh, rear coils are maxed out. And I think it's just the way the wise fab is, I'm pretty sure. But I'm going to probably get these rebuilt with a shorter shock. So we'll figure that out, someone's calling me. Be right back. This is why I hate cars, guys. So basically, since I tried to lower my car, right? All I did was take the coil off to see if I could go lower. And no, the coilover bolt had to strip down here. This little bolt, it won't grab the threads because the threads keep falling off. And um, the nut shot. This is a prime example of why cars suck. I'm gonna try and figure this out, but the threads keep coming off that bolt or not, I can't tell, but. Okay, well, I went ahead and found a nut for that and it's all fixed, so that's all good. Like I said, we can't slam it, which sucks, but um, we can get the wheels on at least. Sam showed up, so he's gonna help put wheels on. <laughs> Sam, what do you think of these wheels? They're pretty sick. Aren't they? Yeah. Get those for the cruise, maybe? Man. I really like the blue for the cruise. They're pretty sick, man. I like the design, but not the color for the cruise. Dude, these are like JDM. But AF. Like, but black. 
Oh for yeah, the they're pretty close to black. For the crew, it's black. Yeah, true black. All right. Well, video coming soon of Sam putting Graham lights on his Chevy Cruze. So anyway, what? Yeah, we're gonna put these on. <laughs> the ride height's gonna be whack, but whatever. Oh. All right. I wish I could go lower though, because what sucks is when I set it on the ground, this gap's still gonna be there. Really? Yeah. Why I think, you? unless I changed something in there, but I don't think I did. Why can't you go over? Uh, because it bottoms out on the, or the coil over bottoms out. Good. No, it's actually not good. No. <laughs> no, but actually the wheels are on and they look insane. So I'm going to wait to put the center caps in until, uh, I get all the other wheels on. But hey, right guess now, what just came by? A train. I know. I, I don't even acknowledge it anymore. <laughs> but we're gonna pop the fronts on. I gotta run a spacer up front, so we're gonna have mad poke. Damn, do you even know what poke is? Yeah. Alright, well, this is gonna be a lot. You, you like trucks? It's gonna be that truck poke. <laughs> it, yeah. It's actually gonna be like that, though. Trucks have better poke than cars do. Uh, it looks better on trucks, but wait till you see what this poke looks like. It looks 10 times better on trucks than it does on cars. Oh, no. Am I wrong? Hold on, I think we're running into issue number 49. These studs don't fit. Or these nuts don't fit these studs. But they fit the rear. Wait, what? Yeah, that doesn't even make sense. Actually, that poke's not as bad as I thought. Because when it's on the ground, it won't be horrible. That might be less than it had before. You're a truck guy, you like the poke? I do like poke. Looks pretty good, right? But on trucks, not cars. You don't like the poke? I've only seen one car that looks good with poke. And it was this one. No, it was a Camaro. Oh, okay. All right, so anyway, wheels are on. I don't even want to talk about the rear. I'm really upset. The front looks fire. Can't wait to lower that. But we're going to knock out this other side real quick, and then we'll get on the ground and show you what it looks like. <laughs> Center caps are on. Looking absolutely nasty, besides it not being low, which I'm upset about. But... We're gonna roll this thing outside, get a little sunlight on her, and see how she's looking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. over there doing Instagram things. It looks so good. <laughs> it needs to be dirt nasty low. It needs to be dirt nasty low, but dang, it looks insane. You guys can see that rear bumper now, because I don't think I've really shown it. Just need to get that rear ride height situated and this thing will be set. But for now, it's definitely good enough to drift. Okay, me and Sam just pushed this thing back inside, which was an absolute pain. So I'm gonna end this video right here. I'm gonna do the radiator in another video just cause this took a lot longer than I thought. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Enter the front of my undercolor giveaway. Follow me on Instagram, Must Be Burner. Peace. <laughs> Corona.